Good morning, this is my Shaman Oik reading for Tuesday. Today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. And this reading here is for Virgo. Welcome Virgo. I'm using three tarot decks. They are all designed by some other artists. So the reading starts with the Moon and Stars tarot. And that one gave out the three of pentacles for you and the card three of pentacles is about recognition understanding and teamwork and the meaning of the card is excitement there has been a great deal of teamwork and dedication in a situation you have put much energy and time into you get the recognition that you deserve after having showcased showcased your abilities and communicated your ideas this is the time to accept praise if you are standing no if you are starting out a business venture or any other project Believe in it fully as it can prosper beautifully. If you are single, now is the time to socialize as communication flows. And with in relationships, the need to work as a unit <coughs> as a unit is more important at present. The moon message of the card is to showcase your skills and give thanks for what you get in reward. And I'm very sorry for the drilling here in the house, but well, I'm living in a house that was built in 1968 and it took to 1972 to finish it up. And now, of course, Many, many people who have owned a condominium, they died in the meanwhile, having gotten up there in age. And now many empty condominiums, they are renovated for new people to move in. So that's the reason why there is a lot of trilling going on recently. And I'm very sorry, but if I wait for the trilling to stop, I cannot make any video so that's why i'm doing it anyway i'm sorry for the noise okay next card is the tarot of the divine and out came the card death and the card death is about a norwegian fairy tale called white bear king valemon this is a huge upheaval, potentially representing the death of one way of life and the start of a new one. Life changes irre irre irrevocable and there is no way to go back. Change is necessary. The death of childhood is important in order to grow up. The meaning of the card is metamorphosis, evolution, some loss, transition, and lots of change. Well, yeah, life is bringing lots of change, okay? So the next card is the Cremolkin's Curious Cat's Tarot, and out came the moon. And the moon is dedicated to the cat named Spot. Spot often gazed out into the night sky and envisioned his life as that of a wild animal, free to roam the land, free to hunt, and free from wolves that are his home. The moon can illuminate and stimulate our creative mind, 
However, the light of the moon also casts shadows that prey upon our fears. It is the moon that shows the cat what it will never be, a truly free and wild creature, and as a result, the cat must face a truth that stirs up feelings of disappointment, feeling trapped, and inadequate but lots of house cats love to be house cats i know that they enjoy a safe surrounding they enjoy being fed daily and taken care of so it continues when the energy of the moon is used positively and with courage your imagination will expand and you will be able to explore new ideas or avenues that may once have seemed outlandish. The light of the moon has the power to open the door for your inner wild animal to enjoy a little freedom, a little creative play. When you travel into the deep crevices of your subconscious mind, you may uncover information or ideas that will assist a current situation. Too often, however, the moon provokes feelings of anxiety and fear. It causes you to imagine monsters lurking about that are nothing more than the moonlight distorting reality. Oh yes, when I was a young kid, I saw a monster looking through the window at night, but my brother helped me out, telling me it was the moon painting shadows on the curtain. And so it was. He took the curtain and pulled it, and yes, I saw the moon. So, how we can imagine most anything, right? That was that card. And now, oh no, when the energy attributes of the card are positive, I'm talking too much. When the energy attributes of the card are positive, then you are exploring once you are exploring your dark side with courage and understanding, aware of what is an illusion and what is reality, connecting to creativity and imagination and when the energy attributes are negative you might have some fear allowing the illusion to distort reality feeling lost and alone succumbing to dark impulses and your shadow self and some uncontrollable anxiety so now Next card, Sacred Destiny Oracle card, out came Voyage. And the card Voyage here from the deck is related to the humpback whale. Humpback whales, they make the longest journey of any mammal. They travel about 14,000 miles, which is about... 22,000 kilometers every year. They spend the summer months near the polar regions and in the winter time they travel toward the equator to tropical waters. Among some native tribes, the whales are considered to be protectors of travelers as well as guardians of the sea so this card indicates that no matter what your journey is and where it takes you you have protectors at your side the sacred landscape wants you to know get ready you are about to embark on a journey it might be an inner journey or an outer voyage to a distant 
land. It might be a project or an idea that is coming to life. But most certainly you are an intrepid traveler sallying forth into the unknown. Where do you want to go? What have you always wanted to do or be? This is the time to make it happen. So get prepared. Have a clear vision of what you want to experience, but also be prepared for the unexpected. But also be prepared for the unexpected. That is a part of the acceleration of being a traveler. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as re reaching the destination. That sounds good, right Virgo? And the last card is the Wisdom of the House of Night card and out came listening. Drawing this symbol indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words, says the goddess Nyx. And that is so true, right? We can see lots of messages in just gestures of people. So the story goes that in my house of night, says Nyx, there will be a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with great detail and expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now. So listen and learn. What others do not say is what is important at this moment. So Virgo, that was your reading. I hope you liked it a little bit. I thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a wonderful week. Take care and goodbye.